guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. And I'm also going to be setting up the camera just a little bit differently, kind of so you're over my shoulder, so you can kind of see how I plan on a monthly basis. So I know it's a few days into December already, so I've been specifically not planning the month ahead. Like I, I know what's going on, but I've been not putting anything in this agenda for the month of December because I did want to save everything for this video. So I'm going to show you everything I do for planning a month at a time. I even have some stickers here that I use. I don't have to go like crazy. Like some people make it like beautiful. I mean, I, I try and make it nice and clean, but I don't go overboard. So I do want to show you what I do. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons of this size, and then I will get into planning. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Shay. I'm so glad you're here. I would love for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so that you're notified for my future videos. I also wanted to mention that I finally did get a P.O. Box address, which I'm really excited about. A lot of people have been messaging me asking if I had one, and I didn't. So I ended up going to my local post office this week, and I got one. So if you're interested in that, I will go ahead and list that down below. No pressure at all, but I know some people maybe wanted to send me a little bit of mail or something. I'm not really sure. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. Okay, so let's get right into my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM, and then we'll get into planning. But first I will just kind of go over the stats of it. This particular size is the PM size, so it's the smallest. There are um, several other larger sizes. There's the MM, which is the medium, and the GM, which is the, you know, the really large size. There might even be other sizes as well. But when you look on the Louis Vuitton website, it does seem like they just label them small, medium, and large agendas now. I don't really see the PM, MM, or GM sizing anymore. Um, but this does retail for $365, which obviously is very very pricey for a agenda um, but I actually did get this one pre-loved so I you know I will list it down below but I am a part of that Facebook group that I've mentioned in the past so I think I got this for a hundred something I honestly don't even remember how much but it was in the hundreds like 100 something so obviously I got it for way, way, way cheaper than retail price of $365. So I'm very, very glad that I did that route instead of the brand new because to me, this seriously looks brand new, like it's seriously brand new. So there's no, like it, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it at all. So I'm super glad that I got this pre-loved. I definitely recommend it if you can find an excellent condition one. Um, you could also get the MM size, which is kind of the medium size, and then the large size as well. Now, the medium size does retail for $605, and then the large size is $775. So just to give you kind of an idea of the pricing and what you can expect there. This agenda does come in many, many canvases and leathers. There's many prints to choose from. I obviously chose the monogram. I just love the classic monogram. Sometimes I like to mix it up with other things, but for this one, I think it's the most versatile when it comes to switching in and out of my bags. So that's why I was definitely happy that I got my hands on a monogram. So I guess we'll start on the positive side of things. I'll start with the pros and then I'll end with the cons, which maybe I should do it the other way around so that I don't end on a negative note but I kind of just want to start with the pros. So first, this is very small. Now that can be a pro or that could be a con, but for me it's definitely a pro because I want something that I can easily fit into whatever purse I'm carrying. This literally fits in every purse that I have. Um, even my, my favorite that is just a crossbody bag, I can fit it very, very easily into that bag. So basically I can just switch it out in whatever I'm carrying. So that's awesome. I can take it to work. I take it, you know, if I'm going to a hair appointment, that way I can immediately write in my appointment that I make for the next time. It's just very, very convenient and very handy. The next pro for me is it actually can be used as a little wallet. So when you open this up, you just unsnap it right here, and I will show you the inserts in closer detail when we get into planning. But as you can see here on this side, there are slot holders here for cards. You definitely can put your driver's license here, maybe a credit card, and maybe one other card here, and I think you can actually double up the cards as well. And then you can slide in some cash right here. So this would be awesome to double up as a wallet, so I definitely think that is a 
pro right there. I also think this is great for just kind of overall planning. It's not going to be good if you want to write down every single detail of your life. If that's the case, you're going to have to get the bigger sizes. I just like to have kind of like an overall idea of what I'm doing from month to month. The inserts that I did choose kind of have a overall monthly outlook and then it does give a day by day section so I can you know, write in details of the day, but I can't go like crazy detail, which I will show you in a minute. But this is great, like I said, for just overall planning, being able to see kind of like a broad overview of what your month by month is going to look like. The other pro to this, it's obviously definitely the most cost effective. Like I said, right now this retails for $365. I got it for way, way less, and I'm sure you could too if you end up getting it pre-loved. But if you get into the medium size or the large size, 600 and 700 plus dollars for an agenda is definitely a lot of money so you do want to take that into consideration as well okay so let's get into the cons of this i don't really like to talk about the negative things but let's be real and be honest about what's negative about this agenda so it is very small like i mentioned in the beginning so you're not going to be able to fit every single detail of your life into this agenda. If that's the case, you're definitely gonna wanna get the medium or the large size. But you have to keep in mind, if you get the medium and the large size, they're probably not going to fit into your bags as well. Another con to this agenda are the inserts sometimes. I did not get my inserts from Louis Vuitton, so I really can't comment on what those are specifically like. I am contemplating getting them for next year. I already have 2017, but sometimes when I'm, you know, working in 2016, 2017, I do kind of think maybe the next time I do get the inserts, maybe I will try the Louis Vuitton ones. But you have to keep in mind with these inserts, I did get mine from Etsy, that sometimes it's not going to hold the full year at a time. So for me, I do have only three to four months, I think, in this agenda. So if you want to see like the big picture as far as the end of the year, like if I want to see what's happening a year from now, like next October, unfortunately, the, with the inserts that I have at least, it's not going to hold that. But for me, that doesn't really bother me. I'm totally fine with going about four months at a time and then I will switch out to the next four months. So that doesn't bother me, but for some people, I definitely could see that being an issue. Another thing to consider are the inserts. Like I said, I did get mine from Etsy. A lot of people do get theirs from Filofax, and I have kind of heard some horror stories about those. Some people love them, and I'm, maybe they're great, but I have seen several reviews where when you get them, see how my pages are laid out here, and then when you turn the page, like say I wanna turn the page, Mine do turn very well, but I have heard horror stories where the Filofax ones, sometimes the pages are a little bit too big for the insert. You would go to turn and then these would get caught and then it'd be very hard to turn the page and you kind of have to lift up and kind of like turn the page like that. So like I said, mine do turn very easily, so I am happy about that. If I did get ones from Louis Vuitton, I think they'd be pristine and perfect as well. But obviously, these were only like 10 bucks, my inserts, and the ones from Louis Vuitton, I think are 50 or 60 or plus. I'm not really sure how much they cost, but that's significantly more. So anyway, that's just something to consider. I wish you could kind of test out the inserts before you buy them, like if you could get them in the stores, and maybe in some stores you can, but unfortunately where I live, I did have to order my inserts online, and I did find them on Etsy. There were a lot to choose from, and I will list what I purchased down below if you're interested in getting what I got. I also wanted to mention that I do have a little pen holder here that fits. It's like the most adorable little pen, and I did get it from Amazon. It fits perfectly in this little pen holder that's that's right here. When I first got the agenda, I was like, what the heck kind of a pen is gonna fit right there? So I did look on Amazon. I think I saw little pens on some other websites as well, but this one definitely seemed like the best one. I like how it had the gold and silver accent and it writes really well. I think it was only like five or six bucks on Amazon. It was super easy. I ended up actually just ordering it when I was ordering something else and I was trying to get free shipping and then I was like, hey, I need to get that pen. So I added it to my basket and then I got free shipping because it was only like five or six bucks. So it was just one of those items that you can add or tack onto your order just to kind of push you over the edge to get free shipping. But anyway, 
So I will link this pen down below if you're interested. I think it works really well with this agenda. I'm very happy that I got it and it does write really smooth. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that as well. Okay, so let's get into planning with me. I hope I can set the camera up so you're a little bit over my shoulder and we can plan for the month of December together. And then that way you can decide if maybe you would wanna invest in this agenda for the year of 2017. So, you know, the new year is coming up and I love starting fresh with my agendas and you know planning for the year and everything it's just the perfect time I think to you know if you're gonna get one of these it's the perfect time to do it so that you can start fresh and start clean okay so here is my agenda and holy crap was it difficult getting the camera set up to be at the right angle, but I finally got it. So here we are. Um, like I said, this agenda, I got it pre-loved and I think it's in immaculate condition as you can see when I open it up. The inside is it, just so nice and here is you know the card holders like I mentioned and the inside this beautiful caramel color. Here are the inserts that I got from Etsy and I'll go over them with you of you know how they're laid out and everything and then we can get into planning the month of December. So the first insert I have and you know I did specifically order is just kind of a year at a glance like a full year So here's the the first page and then here is the second half of the year each month It does show you know this month my overall goals You know what I expect to do that month and then the goals and then what's really important and then I can write the birthdays There also is a note section beside this page that I you know that I wanted so I can write down any notes or ideas I might have or you know whatever I think of that I don't want to forget I will write it down in the notes section and then I also did want a month at a glance page so here is a month on two pages and it does just give me a, a full spread of each month and then once you turn the page you can see each day listed out with some lines underneath so that if you kind of want to write down some notes about what you're planning to do overall that day you can do that and that is what I do like to do so I'll write down you know if I have something specific going on on a Friday I'll write that down if I have plans like say I have a baby shower I'll put that down if I have something going on after church I'll write that down on Sunday and then some overall goals of the week I'll write under here where it says this week so that's just kind of what the inserts look like if you were to get the Louis Vuitton inserts they're obviously laid out very differently um, I'm not super familiar with them unfortunately so I feel like I can't really give a great idea of what they're like but I do know that for 2017 the ends are um, very shiny silver I know a lot of Louis Vuitton enthusiasts are very upset because that does kind of clash with the the gold that is accented by the agendas. But if you look at my pen over here, it does have the silver and gold accent, and I do like mixing metals, so to be honest, I really don't care that they're accented in the silver. So here is my pen. I will show you a little bit closer detail. I did get it on Amazon, like I mentioned. It does look very small, but I think it's adorable, and it really doesn't seem that small to me when I'm holding it, and it writes really well, so I'm very happy with it. And like I mentioned, it is only about like five or six bucks. So if you do get this agenda, I seriously recommend getting this pen. I'll link it down below, but if not, maybe you can find something else better. But this particular little, like, pen holder is so small so I really don't know if I have another type of a pen that way it would work so I'm glad that I found this one okay so here is the full month of December on two pages it's the, the whole month of December so we're going to plan out the whole month together and I am going to be using my stickers that I recently got these are seriously awesome stickers I they're actually I think for kids obviously um, but the squares of the sticker fit perfectly on the squares here and I do just think they really brighten up my agenda I don't like to go overboard but they definitely brighten up my agenda and kind of make me happy to use it so I you know I definitely don't spend tons of time doing this but it does kind of you know make me excited for the for the month but if you look at these they're they're awesome stickers you you really can use them for so many things this one's birthday um you know wedding anniversary a special day you could put your payday you can put what you know if you're going shopping on a certain day and we all know that i love to go shopping you can put days you need to pay a specific bill you could put down your travel days and then you know school doctor a dentist appointment if you have a cat or a dog 
dog, you could put, you know, their veterinarian appointments, business trip, like if, if my hubby goes away on business trip, I can put that down. If you have kids, um, here's a vacation one, which is awesome. So I will definitely link these down below if you're interested in getting them. I Like I said, the squares are perfect for the month and they fit perfectly and you can go ahead and decorate your agenda like this. So let's just go ahead and get started. I usually do just kind of write out what um, the main things are, so unless I have a sticker for it. So in this case, we all know that December 25th is Christmas, so I am going to go ahead and write that on here. Unfortunately, I do not have a Christmas sticker, although I should, but I don't, so I will write that there. December 22nd is my birthday, so I'm definitely gonna be using a happy birthday sticker, and I will show you how awesome the sticker fits right on to the square. So there we go. And then um, I know the day after my birthday, my hubby and I are gonna be going out to eat because I do have to work the next day. So unfortunately, we kind of just decided that we would celebrate my birthday that next day on the 23rd, which is a Friday. So I am gonna go ahead and put the sticker that says dine out right there. So I'll put that there. I have a haircut appointment scheduled for December 10th, which is next Saturday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the haircut sticker right there. So that is fun. And then Hayes actually has just a checkup appointment, nothing, you know, just like the wellness checkup. He is turning 18 months. So I, he, I believe that appointment is the day after he turns 18 months, which is the 29th. Yeah, that's right. So that's a Thursday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the doctor appointment right here. And I am also going shopping with a friend December 11th, which is a Sunday. I'm gonna to go to church in the morning. And then after that, I am going on a little quick little like last minute Christmas shopping thing with her. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shopping sticker. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully I can finalize my Christmas shopping that day. So I will be doing that then, December 11th. I am gonna write a few other things. I know on December 13th and 14th, I have a mandatory training at work. So I am going to go ahead and put two arrows here showing that I have training. I have to be there at work those days. And then the 12th, we actually have a Penguins game, and that would be a hockey game. For those of you who are not from Pittsburgh, we go to the Pittsburgh Penguin hockey games all the time. That's at seven o'clock, so I'm gonna write hockey game at seven. So that is really fun. And then on the 15th, I actually have our work Christmas party, and that's all day at work. So I'm gonna write Christmas party at work here. And then I know New Year's Eve is here, so I am gonna go ahead and write that. I'm not really sure what we're doing yet, but I, you know, that's always a fun night to, to do. Although when you have kids, it does kind of change things. So we'll have to figure out what we're doing that night. But usually we do do something, whether it be going to my parents' house, or sometimes we do go out just the two of us. And I am off of work between Christmas and New Year's, so I am just gonna go ahead and draw a line here and through here saying that I am off of work. I'm just gonna write off. So for notes, I do, do find myself kind of writing down what videos ideas I have for the month. Obviously, if you would have asked me this six months ago, I wouldn't have really used the notes section for that, but now that I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos, I do write down my ideas. So lately, I have been having some ideas of what videos I wanna do, and the next one I plan on filming is the husband tag. So if you guys are interested in seeing my husband, kind of meeting him, getting to know him and his personality, then hopefully you can, you know, maybe stay tuned for that. I'm kind of interested to see how that video goes, but I do want to write that down. So husband tag video. Um, and then I also want to do some routine videos, like maybe my morning routine or maybe what I eat in a day, just some type of a routine video because I do have a lot of different ideas. I'm just not sure which video. I'm going to just go ahead and write routine video 
with a question mark. And then I have my wallet that I really want to review, which is my Clements wallet. So I did write that down, the Clements wallet review. But over here, I just kind of write the overall, like the major events of the month. So for this month, it's obviously Christmas, Hayes' doctor, doctor's appointment, um, the hockey game, which is the Penguins game, and then New Year's Eve. And then here are my goals. My goals are to film at least two videos each week. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I don't know why I just X that. I probably shouldn't have done that because I didn't accomplish it yet. So anyway, now I have to accomplish it. But anyway, film two videos per week. And then my other goal is to finish all of my Christmas shopping. I would say that I'm halfway done now, but I still kind of have a long way to go if I'm honest. And then important things to remember, I don't really have anything, I guess. And then birthdays, it's my birthday, so I will write mine in nice big letters. And then my friend Tracy's birthday, but it already passed, so that's why I didn't put it on the other page, but it is her birthday. And that's really all the birthdays I know of this month. I know next month my best friend's birthday is January 11th, so when I'm planning that month, I'll make sure that is a priority. I hope you enjoyed kind of planning out the month with me. This kind of was just an abbreviated version. If I was doing this myself, I obviously would probably spend a lot more time and you know put a lot more things in here but you know I don't want to make this video like 30 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and hit the like button and I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe down below for future videos. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!